94% of consumers say that a negative review has caused them to avoid a small business. Today, I'm gonna to tell you what to do when you get a negative review. Hi there, I'm Stacey Tischel, entrepreneur, best-selling author, and top podcaster, and the founder of The Foot Traffic Formula, where I help small business powerhouses maximize their time and multiply their profits. And if that sounds like you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that little bell notification next to it so you're notified every time we have a new episode coming out. All right, so we're talking about the negative reviews or horrible social media comments you may have gotten. And I'm talking ones that say, I wish I could have given this company a zero, but it's not an option, right? We've all gotten something like that. And if you haven't, at some point you will. I've been in business for almost two decades and the bigger you get, the harder it is to make every single person happy. The statistic at the beginning of this video came from reviewtrackers.com and I 100% believe it to be true. I've done that before and I bet you have too. So how do we make sure that we are using our negative reviews in the most positive way ever? Yes, there is a way to do that. Because what happens is, if you've ever heard the phrase, the calmest person in the argument wins. This is true, especially in this case. So I wanna set you up for success. First and foremost, do not get defensive. I know you and your business are amazing and it will be in your natural instinct to defend, but this never helps. I've been there, I've done it. I'm telling you, you have to agree to disagree with this person. So first, apologize for their experience with your company. And then ask yourself, how can you fix this? Do not give them what they were supposed to get, but a week later or finally after they com they complained. Go above and beyond here. So whatever they were supposed to get or they were supposed to have, make sure to give that to them and then ask, how do I put the little cherry on top to make this a more pleasant experience? Take for instance, you go to a restaurant, you order something without bacon and it comes with bacon right on top, right? What you do not want them to do is apologize and then bring it out a fresh one 20 minutes later, right? What you want to see happen is they bring it out 20 minutes later in the way that you specifically wanted, but then maybe they comp that or they throw in free dessert or something. How can you get creative here and go above and beyond? Then I want you to ask yourself, is there any truth to this? Now, again, you're still in defense mode. You are still upset that somebody would possibly say something to you or about you when you pour your heart and soul into your business. So the question is, privately ask yourself, is there any truth in this? How can I use this experience to learn and grow? How can I make sure that this complaint never happens again? So use this complaint to figure out how you can be even better the next time somebody comes to you. And if this is not the first time you've heard this complaint, definitely take it more seriously. This is now starting to become your brand. This is starting to become the perception of what everybody else is hearing and you do not want your reputation to be tarnished. All right, so when it comes time to actually reply, you have to remember that people are going to read this. So it's not just you talking privately to the person that gave you the one star review. This is you talking in front of everybody on the internet. So how do you wanna come across? defensive and angry or apologetic and sincere and as somebody who's trying to fix this and make it right. So remember, this is just as much for the person reading this review and the reply as it is for the person you're responding to. So make sure you ask yourself, am I happy with how this sounds? And sometimes in today's world, these negative reviews are also comments on social media posts. They are maybe DMs privately. What I want you to remember is nothing is private. Even if it's a private DM, somebody can screenshot this and put it publicly on their social media, blast it to their friends. So make sure as you're replying to something private behind the scenes, whether that's an email or a DM or a private message, whatever it is, I want you to remember this at any moment can become very, very public. So remember that before you respond. It might be time to finally start replying to your reviews. It's never too late to respond and reply to a customer. So make sure to go check out what is out there and what work do you need to do. And if you haven't gotten a negative review yet, remember, it is inevitable. It will happen at some point. So keep this little, new little tool in your tool belt for when it happens and you'll be ready to go. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below, have you been consistently replying to each and every review? I wanna hear from you. A negative review has had them physically impossible to get everybody on the state, oh, hang on. 
help this customer, hang on. This is just as, hang on. 